Well, I'm currently in the process of trying to put together a mobile programming kit uh, that will make cables and communication tools. Uh, I came to the realization that I need power, DC power, uh, to run that stuff, uh, and also bench test PLCs. And looking at uh, getting different Walmart type power supplies, um, don't have the current capacity or the voltage regulation, uh, so I decided to make my own box. Uh, so a quick uh, walk around here. <clears throat> um, we've got like 13 amps of 3.3, about 5 amps of 5, uh, 8.5 amps of 12, and 5 amps of 24. I don't have these labeled yet, but it's plus, plus, minus, minus uh, for those. And the 6 position bus, I have 120 volts, so L1, L1, neutral, neutral, ground, ground. Uh, these are actually two 3 position plugs uh, connected. Uh, these three are connected internally, and these three are connected. Uh, just to extend your uh, voltage bus or to bring external power, uh, just to uh, extend your power a little bit. And here I have a pot hookup uh, for speed control. On the back side, <clears throat> got our power entry. An outlet for uh, running a heat gun or a, a soldering iron a laptop. And I have my 3.3 and 5 is on one power supply. Uh, 12 volts, 24 volts, and a switch for the task light, uh, which is on the bottom here. Uh, we have our pot for uh, speed control, and I have a switch on here. Um, when it's off, uh, it's just a standard pot, uh, and when you turn it on, it outputs uh, 0 to 10 uh, for an analog card. Um, Right analog control. On the bottom here, I have um, LED strip lights. And I went with uh, Fluxfire LEDs. Uh, they have what they claim to be is the most powerful LED uh, strip lights in the world. I think they're like 640 lumens per foot. Uh, so that's what I use in here. Uh, 12 volts. And um, they turned out pretty good. Uh, they also have um, some 24 volt versions, uh, which I'd recommend for machine lighting since you don't need power supply. Um, since most, a lot of machines have 24 volts DC. Uh, so we can plug it in here. Turn it on. Turn on our 3 and 5 volts. I uh, actually have different colored LEDs for power. I uh, actually worked out pretty good. Uh, there's a 2 by 20 millimeter slot. So I was able to use four uh, 2 by 5 millimeter LEDs. <clears throat> you can turn on 12 volts, uh, which is red, and 24 volts which is blue. And those turned out pretty nice. And we also have the switch for um, the task light. Turn up the light in here. So I'll give you a look to light when you're working. Um, now for um, LED lighting, uh, the price of LED strips uh, versus these uh, chip on board modules, um, it's kind of a rip off. So I'm in the process of making a magnetic puck light with this chip, uh, it's a 5300 lumen uh, LED array and it's 35 bucks. Uh, to get the same lumen output uh, with these strip lights, it cost you $180. Um, so it's a good halogen replacement. And this module 
has a forward voltage of 24 volts, so I was able to use uh, my box to run it. I can just plug it in here. It's got pretty good uh, light output. It does get warm, so you have to have a pretty sizable heat sink. Um, you're going to run it for a long time. I got a few accessories for this box. Uh, magnetic base and on both sides here uh, these are just uh, an external bus so these six are connected together these six are connected together so you can extend your voltage uh, from the box you can just put a wire in there and have five extra hookups or bring in um, external power uh, four magnets in the base uh, it's all felt line top and bottom so we can uh, stick our box in the base and what's nice about that is you can wire in um, all your stuff to the base you have a serial server here so we can just hook this up and just plug it right into the module and now we have power um, so you can leave all your stuff hooked up just unplug it from the box and take your box with you also have a cooling plate um, if you're going to run it for a long time especially with the task light it does get warm in there and all I have now is just um, vent holes so this is magnetic just stick it right on the box Runs off the 5 volt bus here. So I got kind of a push pull thing going. Uh, the two on the ends are blowing in, one above the power supply is sucking out uh, to keep the box cool. Um, I think, besides that, that's pretty much it. Uh, I think I'll be using this quite a bit. Um, definitely worth the time to build it. Um, besides that, that's pretty much it.